Okay everyone, if any of you were actually waiting for my add-on videos that I promised to make a long time ago, I'm sorry it took way too long, but here you go. Carbonite is a great add-on. It's a lot like Quest Helper. It'll show you where your quests are and stuff. It comes with this little thing right here. It's a little quest watcher. And what this thing does is you click the button here, it makes it bigger or smaller. Alright, so you can hide it away if you don't need it. And it'll show you the quests you have. So you have 23 quests out of a total possible 25. The ones that are closest to you, it'll list at the top. And right here, this higher learning, this is a, a, a achievement number. And what you do is right here, mustard dog basket, this is a, a cooking daily. And here's this arm, this is a fishing daily. If I click next to this in this little circle here, the little arrow pops up, which I can move around wherever I want. Or you can make it disappear in the options if you want. And it shows you where to go turn the quest. You know, complete, as it says there. So I'll hop on my horse. I follow the little arrow. Let's see, it says how far it is, how long it will take to get there based on my current speed. So I follow it. And see right here, it just took me to my quest turn. And there we go. I got my crappy little fishing rewards. Another thing you can do here is this is the map it comes with. It's like a little mini map. You don't have to show it. You can exit out. And then if you hit in. I'll show it again full size. And see, I want to find the entrance to the ICC5 maps here. So I zoom in here. And here they are. This is what they look like, these little blue, uh, greenish black things. So I'm going to right click on this. And then I'm going to go to right here and click that. This little arrow shows me a path to it. Now I'm going to hit in again make my map smaller and you can still resize it like that if you go to the corners where it has a little gear thing or when it looks like this your cursor is just a triangle you can move it so I'm going to go out here to Crassus's landing and I'm going to fly where it tells me see the arrow is pointing in the direction I need to go and it tells me what it is when I'm going to the Forge of Souls 5 Flight points close to it, I'll just do it like this. There we go. See that at the other end. And I'm just going to follow the little arrow. And see, it shows how far you are in yards and how, far, how long it's going to take you to get there based on, you know, what direction you're headed and the speed you're going. You can change, you go to options, I'll show you later. You can go and change the way the arrow looks and I think its size as well. And see how you just follow it straight over, you know, if you gotta go over something, then go over it. See the arrow always takes you to the right place. It will not tell you the elevation of what you're looking for, so you gotta be aware of that. Some stuff will be above or below you, and then, you know, that can still be kind of hard to find then. See, one thing to keep in mind is this will lead you not to the entrance to the instance, if you click on an instance, but it will lead you to the actual portal to it. You know, that is, so you know, it's not going to take you to the meeting stone or to, you know, the entrance to like a cave-like thing like it is here, as you can see, but it's going to take you to the actual portal to the instance. 